Now, I want to ask in this uh, video that I'm showing at the very end, they don't say anything at the very end. Dick Button calls you his favorite at the end. I was wondering. Ooh, what, what did he call me? You're, he says you're his favorite at the end of this Dick, program. Dick, Dick said I was his yes. favorite? Yes. Wait, right here, wait. Dick said a lot of things about me. Oh, you can hear it there, but there's a video. Dick Button calls you his favorite, right? Every time she skates and goes up this, I just want to cry. She's so beautiful. She's my favorite. Peggy said she wants to cry when you skate like that. Because you're so beautiful. And oh, Dick says, she's my favorite. The two I most critical people in all of skating. And at the very end, they are, yeah. We all have been through a lot. And Dick mm. Button, I mean, it's a huge compliment by Dick. Dick did those axles, open axles when mm -hmm. he was competing do you watch him skating i mean yes. they didn't have eyes closed in back then olympics were happening pretty much on the open service yeah. but the crowd has another treat without, without, the without without the boards or anything they were on the lake yeah, side. yeah without the um, cover-up mm -hmm. But look at his skating, look at his knees. Mm. Look literally how high he could just jump mm. for that jump. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty much classic, but certain requirements what the greatest, oh my God, did you see this? Nobody yeah, can Yeah, Axel back Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep, those were, those were the things that we did when I was a child. We learned from them, you know, to develop special, like special, I don't know, like things that are required for skater. You know, the soft mm -hmm. knees. I mean, look how soft his knees are so soft. Look at his edges. Look how clean his skating is. Do you have good memories? Of I mean, kids? right now you can't fucking, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can't, <laughs> I mean, you can't tell what they do. Do they yeah. take off on lots from the outside edge or inside edge? Yeah. Back then, I mean, you would never question it. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, it was figure skating back then. Now it's figure jumping. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's different favorite skaters if you see that you watch now like Jason Brown or anyone that really you enjoy I like artistic skaters mm -hmm. I I enjoy more artistry mm -hmm. than technique mm -hmm. and I always will mm -hmm. and <clears throat> I always enjoy watching I don't know Peggy Fleming and mm -hmm. I enjoy watching classics more than the newer mm -hmm. generation, you know, skaters. I honestly, I watch Olympics pretty much it. Mm -hmm. And thank God to you, Dave, you're doing a wonderful job with informing people pretty much on what's going on in the world of figure skating because you know, not too many people like to follow, I hope they don't, you know, skaters who pretty much rotate every year. Mm -hmm. And um, they're all pretty much look the same, wear the same dresses. I'm talking about two periods. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there is no personality to that. I mean, all of her girls since 2014, they're the same version of Lipnitska. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, a little bit, you know, less, a little bit more, but they're all pretty much the same to me. There is, they all do 
the same spins, they all do the same entrances, they all do the same jumps. Um, yeah, like there is no big, huge personalities. Like Katrina did used to be different, Serena used mm -hmm. to be different. Um, Mickey, uh, Mickey Ando used to be different. Like everybody before Tutberidze kicked in her style of skating, everyone used to have their own style. Mm -hmm. And I still think now mm -hmm. they all do. But when I watch Tutberidze, it's almost like she sucks the whole oxygen out of the room. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I'm not interested in that. I like skating. You know, I like beautiful edges. I like beautiful performances. I love versatile skaters. I like when every skater has their own technique, has their own style. Not when everybody almost like a robot. I wanted to ask you about Michelle Kwan, because as you were in the US, she was so young, but started touring when she was probably 13 years old on the Champions mm -hmm. Ice Tour, and you got to see her kind of grow up. What was she mm -hmm. like to tour with? Well, Michelle actually said in one of the interviews, Frank Carroll came back from 1993, mm -hmm. and he told her about me. Mm -hmm. And she did watch me a lot. Mm -hmm. Michelle was incredibly talented, you know. Mm -hmm. She did a lot of numbers with Sarah Kavahara. Mm -hmm. I mean, she did a lot of, you know, she did a lot of years, a lot of, she worked really, really hard. That's what I can say about Michelle. Mm -hmm. Michelle is actually one of those people who, um, is completely opposite than me. Mm -hmm. You know, I am talented and lazy, and she is a hardworking person, mm -hmm. you know, and she had to work at what, at what she had, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Did you like her skating? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she had worked so hard on that double axle because she used to stop herself a lot before she takes off. Mm -hmm. And I know she worked with Aratunian. He was one of her first, like, Russian coaches who really did a lot mm -hmm. to change her technique for the entrance mm -hmm. to a double ox. Mm -hmm. What I mean as Russian coaches is basically he came from Russia. He was just, you know, start working in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And I think she was one of his first big, huge students who he applied his knowledge of Russian technique towards American skaters. That's what I meant by Russian coach. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's working with the best, obviously. Well, you mentioned Rudy as one of your best friends on tour. What is your- <laughs> I wish him a happy birthday. Rudy, Rudy did this number and every time he would do this number, a crowd would stand up for him and clap yeah. for him. I, I'll be honest with you, Dave, back then, it wasn't easy for Rudy to be gay on tour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've come a long, long way. Back then, Rudy was... incredible skater people mm -hmm. loved him mm -hmm. but that stamp on him i remember when he came out in people magazine in one of the first interviews you know being gay it was a very mixed reaction it wasn't greatly supported back then mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Rudy had to struggle mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah. I mean, everybody loved when he did that. Everybody mm -hmm. stand up because they came to see the show. Everything was good. But in real life, you know, Rudy, Rudy was going through a lot. Mm -hmm. Were the other skaters nice to him on tour? I mean, obviously he was not the only gay the skater. The people who understood you born this way, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they were. And mm -hmm. people who would not, they weren't. Mm -hmm. That's what I meant. He had to go through a lot. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think, you know, <laughs> being gay, it's a choice. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's not a choice, it's who you are. Mm -hmm. How did you meet Johnny Lavoy? I called him. I said, Johnny, I need somebody to cut my hair. And I was in his chair mm -hmm. in 10 minutes. Wow. Which, yeah, I called, I drove to his salon and we have become friends because he understood who I was. Mm -hmm. And we connected right away. Someone just asked, yeah. what do you think about changing the age requirements? Do you think the age should be older? Do you have an opinion? Well, they're changing a lot of things with figure skating right now. And I do, I do appreciate that because, mm -hmm. I mean, <clears throat> all I read that the kids' immune system who went through Tutberidze camps, mm -hmm. they literally feeling ill at the age of 17, 18. Mm -hmm. And they cannot longer sustain being fit. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And um, what I'm reading is that Sotnikova opened up her mouth about doping. Mm -hmm. I thought it was only Tutberidze who's, you know, saying that Meldoni is the vitamin C. Mm -hmm. And I can't imagine how can she even say that it's vitamin C because Meldoni is a drug that you cannot even start taking till the age of 18. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, like, it's almost like it says on the package, don't take it till the age of 18. Mm -hmm. So, and she, you know, admits on Russian television that her students is literally uh, putting that in their body. And it's like, Americans are stupid. And what she's saying is that it's not... <laughs> a drug, it's basically not doping, it's just the vitamin C for the kids. And all I'm saying to myself, then why does it say I'm packaging, do not take it till the age of 18? Mm -hmm. So that's very horrible to me to even understand. It. What do you think the punishment and should be? My for question is, where is the parents? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like what, they don't know what their kids are doing? I don't know. Um, and then Sotnikova said, my God, she had the positive test. And then, you know, <laughs> they did another one and they did became positive. And I'm like, oh my God. And then, you know, like, I'm reading a lot of things about Basically, basically the doping in Russia has been forever. Mm -hmm. My understanding, my understanding, mm -hmm. the Russian team literally used to have people on payroll who were paying the bribes to cover up the doping props for them. Because no matter who I read and what I read, and what Olympics it is, it's always doping, 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 doping. You know, it mm -hmm. almost feels like they can't compete without it. Mm -hmm. And it's very strange to me, you know what I mean? Do you, uh, have you seen the movie Icarus? I have not, 
I heard about it, mm -hmm. but I have not. Mm -hmm. I have not, and I heard it's an Oscar-winning film, mm -hmm. and I should watch it. Mm -hmm. I did not yet. You but, I <laughs> but I will. Yeah. I, uh, you watched it, Dave? Yes, did of you course. Watch it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty great, right? Yeah, yeah. I have mm -hmm. his book, too. Yeah, he wrote a book mm -hmm. about uh, doping. What do you think the punishment for Valieva should be for her test? Well, I think a lot of people, they say, Oksana, you cannot be that harsh. She's a kid. Mm -hmm. She had no idea what she was doing. Um, and I do blame in a way, a sport a little bit, mm -hmm. because, you know, I mean, thank God they change the rules now. Kids cannot compete in a women's competition. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And if it's women's competition, then you can't have both ways, you know? Mm -hmm. You had to the 